Hey travel lovers, welcome back to A Wanderlust for Life here on YouTube, the channel that shows you European gems through food and memorable experiences. And this is certainly one, I'm gonna to try to cover my mic because it's so windy. We are here on Mount Etna in Sicily and we have partnered up with Sicily Activities to have Mount Etna adventures. So let's get into it. sure if you can hear me. I'm gonna to try to cover it up as best I can. But we are about 2,000 meters up Mount Etna and we have come to a crater that um, lava came out of in 1892. And this view is what we get. We're coming up here. This is so cool. So this is our first stop and um, like I was probably most excited about this adventure because I feel like coming up Mount Etna is something you have to do. Then we're going to a winery. And if you haven't already, please subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. And uh, maybe you'll get more adventures like this. The crazy thing about Mount Etna is there is different um, landscapes from the base to the top. So uh, you just saw the top with, you know, all that volcanic rock and a little bit of those flowers. Um, but now we, like not even five minutes we drove down and this is what we get. And it's insane because now I feel like I'm just in the countryside. And the great thing is our guide is from the base of Mount Etna. So like he knows all the secret spots and it's just crazy. So we have the mountain. So that's all a lava flow up there. And then these yellow trees we've been seeing everywhere. And then we have like the evergreen trees. And then there's like a huge sandy area. So the volcanic rock just kind of gets, I guess, pummeled. And um, so there's areas that it's just black sand as well. And that's mostly towards the top, but we found a couple uh, down below as well. This is so cool, guys. Like, seriously, Sicily activities. Knows what you want in a trip to Sicily. Etna has been just mind-blowing. Like I thought I knew about volcanoes, but I didn't. Um, our guide Rosario has just told us so many things that I feel like everybody should know, but it's been so cool. So like behind us, uh, there is the first part of Mount Etna. It's uh, the first time Etna erupted. And so there's this little mountain um, of these green trees. And then the lava flow around it is from 19. 92 so it's crazy so you just see like this center of the trees and stuff my mind has been blown all day and we still have lunch to go to at a winery but if you want to have a little adventure here on Sicily on Mount Etna specifically this is the thing to do with Sicily activities this rock is younger than me that's just sad here's a lava flow we were up there, and this is the house. There's a story where they left a St. Mary, um, I guess right at the end of the lava, and then um, the lava stopped right where the image of St. Mary was. Because that house was built before the lava flow, and you can see where it stopped. Crazy. Our last stop for today is at this stunning winery. It's Barone di Villa Grande. And it is the oldest winery here on Mount Etna. It's been around for 293 years, which is mind blowing. And we are starting off our wine tasting with a rosé and kind of a rice cracker with chopped sun-dried tomatoes. Um, they actually specialize in white wines here, which is different from most of the rest of Mount Etna. There's over 150 vineyards 
around the volcano. So <laughs> that gives you an idea. So we're gonna give the rose a try. I'm not usually the biggest fan, but it smells super fresh and on a warm day, that's what you want. Oh, that's nice. It instantly makes your mouth water and kind of coats the whole thing. Super light, super refreshing. I'm gonna give the rice cracker a try. I'm so curious about this. Sun-dried tomatoes here are incredible. I want to texture with the soft tomato and then the crunchy rice cracker. It's really good. All right, we're gonna enjoy our tasting and then we will show you what we have for lunch. That lunch was awesome. The winery was awesome. So as a recap, we started off with an arancino, which had buffalo mozzarella, basil, and tomato sauce. Moved on to a bean soup, which tasted like fall. The meat course was a lamb meatball, which also tasted like fall. And I don't really love lamb, but it was the bomb. And then we ended up with a ricotta cheese dessert that had a cake underneath. And it was so good. So today's been amazing learning about Mount Etna and having this wonderful lunch, this wonderful view at this great winery. Thank you so much for watching our Mount Etna adventures here in Sicily, Italy. And thank you to Sicily Activities for having us and showing us such an amazing time. If you are interested in a tour like this or any tour around Sicily, be sure to check them out. I'll leave the links down below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, say hello down in the comments, and we'll see you in the next video.